have you ever wondered how to make a custom splash screen? Because when you play a game, as you can see, the Godot logo pops up too. It's really fast, but it is still there. And some people might want to remove that or have their own custom logo. So we're going to figure out how to do that. And yeah, so let's do that. So first, first of all, there's no way to make a splash screen as the splash screen, but there is a way to kind of have your own logo. So first, um, we go to product settings and go to boot splash. And what we can do is we can either add our own icon or we can Kind of remove it so what we can do is i'm going to do that i'm going to add a random like um png file if i can find one uh let's find one in here let's go to characters and i'll just pick a random thing and we'll show image why not full size use filter um and that's it so you can also change the background color and now as you can see it gave a custom uh, image or it gave that custom image we can also try just removing the image and so now what we'll get is nothing so we now have nothing which is not bad so what we can do to have a custom uh splash screen is we're going to make a custom scene so here's our, our custom splash screen and as you know in general we can pick one scene to start the game with so when we go to product settings we can go to config where's the config no run yeah run and we can pick our, our main scene meaning the first scene that our game runs on and so instead of the main menu for me this is my game and i'm gonna have a splash screen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set it to the splash screen so i'm gonna set the splash screen to, to open first and that's it um let me close that shader and there's something else i was working on uh Okay, so in the splash screen, we're gonna animate it a little bit. So we're gonna add an animated sprite or animated player, sorry. We're going to add, I don't have my logo here, so I'm just gonna use the default Godot logo for now. That's okay. It's uh, funny because now we're just, we're removing a Godot logo to add another Godot logo, but we're gonna animate it and it's gonna look cool. So we're gonna also add a panel. And there's a reason I'm not using a color rectangle. It's a little complicated, but um, there's a reason I am and I'm using a panel. But if it works for you, you can use that instead. I'm just going to make it black so the background is black and that's it. So the background is now black. That's all. And we're going to have this in the background, obviously. And the icon, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a uh, light. Actually, no, I'm not going to add anything to it. Let's just animate it uh, slowly. So let's add a script to the splash screen. And in the script, uh, it's not going to be built in. We're just going to have, we're going to remove all these. And what we're going to have is, boom, boom, boom. We're going to have a function called function, go to title screen. And this is just going to change our scene to the, to the main menu. So let's uh, find my main menu. So find your main menu and preload it or not preload it, just have it there. And that will allow us to go to the main menu. So. Now what we need to do is actually add an animation. So let's add an animation. Let's say uh, default and we'll just have this play right away. And now what we'll do is make this like three seconds. So our slash screen would be three seconds. Now we're gonna take our transform of our icon. We're gonna set the position to where it is right now. So we want it to start up there. We're gonna bring it down. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna bring our position down all the way here. I'd say right about there. We're gonna key it maybe at one so we have to do that again and we'll key it there so now it should look like this it'll move in and now i want to go to like um let's do right there we'll bring this up a little bit we'll key it and then we'll go to two so we'll make the entire thing two seconds and then we'll bring it back to the middle so that way it'll, it'll kind of look like a little bounce so let's make this two seconds actually and then what we'll do is we'll just say Go to animation player, we'll go to animation finished, we'll connect it, and we'll say go to title screen. So if the animation finishes, we'll just go to the title screen. So now when I play, it'll open our title screen, and it'll kind of do that little bounce, and change scene is no longer a thing. I forgot, change scene to file. So let's do that again. And now we have a little custom animated screen. Let's uh, make the panel actually black, because I realized I didn't do that. Okay, let's do that. And then one last thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna add a little function that allows us to interrupt the animation in case I want to just finish the splash screen right away. So this will say if event is input key, so any key, um, then we'll just interrupt it and go to title screen right away. So now when I play here, here's our title screen. If I click, whoop, 
Let's try one more time, but this time I'm going to interrupt it. So now if I click spacebar or whatever, it'll interrupt it and just go to the main menu. All right, that is it. That is how you create a super fast, simple splash screen. It's really easy. Um, I hope you guys learned how to kind of make a cool little animation trick there. That's kind of what the trick I use. Um, I would actually not go up like that. I'm going to remove this. I would go like up and then to the middle like that, but you can do whatever you want. You can play around with it. You can add light. You can add um, one cool thing I would do. I might actually try this after I turn off the recording, but I'll add a light 2D. And then in here, I can add it like after that, if positions, I will turn it on and off, on and off. So that way it kind of looks like it's sparking. That would be a cool effect. So you can do whatever you want. You can add shaders. I might also add try to add a shader. That'll be cool. So definitely try it play around with this. This will be really cool. Um, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go subscribe down below, go comment down below, uh, like the video and subscribe and check out all the other content I have. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.